So, hello, peace be upon you, welcome to another episode of the Happiness Revolution where we pass on, where I pass on uh, age-old wisdom that has been around for ages uh, but we've been ignoring uh, that will change the world and um, I kind of feel like repeating why it is that I start off with uh, saying peace be upon you. Peace be upon you is a, again an old age old way of uh, sending positive feelings towards other people which will, in uh, if you listen to the uh, video about the four steps to happiness and happiness revolution as well, uh, that is part of it. So saying peace be upon you is uh, a good thing a good way to say hello. So anyway, I want to move on to the topic I, of this episode, uh, which is indoctrinization. Uh, I was talking to my brother the other day, trying to get some ideas for an episode. I, uh, not that I'm short of ideas, but I like to keep going, uh, talking to different people and saying, uh, what do you think I should be talking about because it's kind of like a way of getting feedback. So, and I'll, I'll be interested in what he's got to say about this video I'm going to make. So, um, so he 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 basically wanted to talk about how children are brought up, and he's worried that people, especially of a religious background, can be um, brainwashed into thinking in a very narrow way which might not be good for um, peace and happiness in the world you know because if you have people of a certain religion saying we're the best and everybody else is the worst that might not be very helpful so what is the solution he's asking well the solution is love for all and hatred for none simple so if you have love for other people your ideology, whatever it is, be atheism, atheism if you want to call it that, uh, if, you're, be, uh, if you're agnostic, you're religious, you're whatever you are, if you have love for people, then whatever your religious background, even if you think what you have is better than uh, other people have, that's not going to be a problem because, of course, uh, if you say this, if you say to your children, "This is really good. I I believe this is really good, and I want you to have it." That's a natural thing for a parent to do. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and if you have this attitude of love for everyone and hatred for no one, then what could be the problem? You know, and most religions teach that. In fact, all religions teach that, it's just that people within religion sometimes, uh, sometimes, I don't know, I think mainly out of their ego, I do know, sorry, when I say I don't know, I mean I do know, but how do I explain it, uh, their, their ego gets in the way and they start teaching religion in a very narrow and negative way whereas religions have always been very open-minded and loving towards humanity in general so what else is there to say so there is indoctrinization but how can we change it how can we change those say those narrow-minded people and the way you do it is you've got to be like a candle in the dark you've got to be that light and when you come across those other people you can't force people with negative attitudes to become better but with when they when you with your uh, good attitude that maybe that would rub off on them and you have to keep being good and you have to keep um, giving your positive ideas, not pushing your positive ideas on other people because that doesn't work either. You've got you to live those positive ideals and 
part of the happiness revolution if you're a happy person you will be positive because negative people are the kind of people who don't think the world can change so if you're positive you will at least think that you can have a positive effect on other people and that's the best you can do that's all you can do you can be a candle in the dark and you can hope to pass on your light whatever tiny light you have without being arrogant about it to other people and eventually that light will be passed on to the next person to the next person until we light up the world thank you for watching hope that explains a few things